Hi, Lewis. and the GT4. Let me check. Cut more, cut more. Uh, right hand down. Yeah, keep going. More, more. Right hand down. All the way. Stop, stop. Let me straighten out the wheel. Let me just check. I'm checking. It's good. How does it look for you guys? Good? <laughs> All right. What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today, we're actually embarking on kind of an epic journey. We're taking these two 718s, one Spider, one GT4, all the way to Colorado, to Colorado Springs, to one of my favorite places in the world, Pikes Peak. We're actually shooting a couple stories for Triple Zero Magazine which honestly, in my, really my honest opinion, I've worked for a lot of magazines over the years. They pretty much produce the magazine, the best magazine. The problem with that is, don't call it a magazine, it's more of a book than anything else. Every single one is very, very detailed, very nice. Uh, they're, they're all over 250 pages. But the thing is, uh, I. I'm so lucky to work with these guys because I guess I'm kind of like the combo breaker, right? So my buddy Jeff Swart, the legend, he shot issue number zero and also issue number one. And I got the second issue, the cover with the second issue. It's been a minute since I shot another cover. So I'm really excited to shoot with these guys again. My buddy Pete and Alex over there and then Lewis there shooting with his cell phone um, but yeah we're we're in LA and we're gonna leave from here we're gonna head all the way to Colorado we'll bring you guys along with us this is not like a Top Gear style thing where we have challenges or anything like that I guess we have our own challenges right first challenge burnout cons I mean oh wait no that's not that type of challenge right oh. this is this is not that Hoonigan channel this is autofocus we don't do burnouts here right, let's focus on the burnouts <laughs> okay, all right. Well, uh, I guess we'll go. Dang, Pete has some awesome gifts for us. What is this? We're going to the desert, man. So you 
got to have liquids, right? We're at least driving through the desert. These were something we looked at doing, we never sold. We just decided to kind of keep them back as swag, so yeah. I like it. Very, little, very cool. gold for the morning. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, awesome. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. For sure. I like sure. it. Nice. Well, front trunk. Tumbler. Yeah. There you go. Here's the triple zero. Boom. Here's to you guys. Yeah. All right. This is the start of our journey. Uh, the guys at triple zero were really, really, really nice enough to give us these like laser engraved hydro flasks. Yeah. Let's talk about triple zero a little bit. I mentioned before that honestly it's it's pretty much I, I think it's the world's most premium magazine it's about 250 pages every single issue and they come out with four issues a year so it's a thousand pages right the subscription is 250 dollars but you're essentially buying a porsche book every single year a thousand pages and I just love the way they lay it out. They always do full page spreads, uh, double page spreads. It's, they, I guess they just do photography, car photography in general, justice, which it, it's so nice to be able to work with these guys. Before I've had a chance to work with really ultra premium magazines, when uh, Motorhead was still around in Japan, they, cared about photography just as much but I, I didn't think that it was possible to care about still photography even more until I met these guys they just want the smallest details like they always want like the oh the print is different on on the shift knob or oh the texture on you know just the littlest things like every little thing you know, they, 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 they want to talk about everything. I don't even know how many articles I've done for them now. It's probably third or fourth. Third or, no. Well, I don't even know. I, I think this is the fourth article that I've done with them. Maybe fifth. Let's, let's, let's go back, let's go back. You did the first cover, which was the, the first. The second, second cover ever. Well, your, oh, your first you? cover My first was cover. The GT4 with the 944. Yes, GT4. Um, and then I did a thing with the uh, singer, and I did a thing with two, two 911s, the 911T, and just a regular Carrera. Oh, oh my god, look that. at this guy. He wants to race. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants to race. Huh? You trying to race, bro? I'm not you trying to race? Look at this guy, look, 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 Nice. Sick. Sal's underscore transmissions. I like that. No, no, no. It says Grape Ape 392. Um. <laughs> look, you can hear him. Hey, we didn't even leave LA yet. And it, there's already entertainment. Yeah. You can see the skyline. Oh, he's going. Bye. But well, back to, back to triple zero and photography. Um, what's another story I did? I think I did a Lufthansa cult story. Yeah. And I think they published some of my own law stuff. And he's trying to raise the Oh, I should, I should tell, I should tell him. Already, okay, not five minutes into our drive, that guy tried to race us. Again? Not five minutes into our drive, and somebody already tried to race us in the, the, that purple car. <laughs> Not if we go to a slight corner. Correct. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about the uh, Tesla Golden Gate Bridge story whenever we stop. Copy that. <laughs> oh, Damn. Oh, look, it looks like it has bikes on top. 
<laughs> for a second. <laughs> uh, for a second there, it looked like you guys had bicycles on top. It was funny. Oh no, Lewis, we got another guy with his Instagram handle on his uh, car. Yeah, we actually missed it. Just oh, his thing. license plate is 777777. Oh, yeah, we can get his Instagram. Oh, what's his Instagram? Instagram? Let's follow him. Let's follow his adventures. Yeah, the text is too small. Oh, man. Damn. Street racer. Oh, shucks. Oh, no. Dang it. I wanted to follow him so bad. His wheels. Uh, Oh, here we go, Lamborghini. Oh, now I can follow him. I can't wait. I can't wait. This is your handle. The Marl Quinn. Dang, thing is sick. We just passed the world's largest thermometer. Ooh, brakes. Brakes. Oh, whoa. The brakes are so squeaky because they're ceramic. Mm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. It was like what second gear pull? It was weak, Larry. I expected at least a third and fourth pull as well. It's got six gears. <laughs> Has all the gears. That's honestly the best part of this car. This car wouldn't be interesting without the manual transmission. It's so good. It's so nice to drive a modern sports car with a modern manual transmission. Your downshifts are really nice just now. That's it's so easy to drive. It has a, this assist. The this auto blip? Lift. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, but I don't even use it. I don't need to yeah. because I've been driving crappy old manual transmissions my entire life. Being able to drive a new manual transmission is just so nice. She does have this cool button right here though. This this one? The eyeglasses? The eyeglasses? Yeah. If you turn it on, you can see better. You open your ears, not your eyes. <laughs> it goes into like a loud mode. Alright, so we're nice. Ah. You're launching too fast, Larry. I'm sorry, this car's too fast. Alright, let me go back to eco mode. Let's run off the glasses here. Turn this off. So we're two tanks of gas in, pretty much. Just going through Arizona right now. It's very pretty. I want to see your. Uh... Punta style driving technique. Oh, you mean my socks? Yeah. The wheel. Let me just. <laughs> they need to be higher. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with driving manual with socks? No, there is no. There's nothing wrong with it. Punta in the real life Initial D movie drives. He takes off his handles, so I guess he drives barefoot. But I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. So you learn. You know, you're your dad. He's a dad. I know. This is why it's not good to road trip with us. Basically, anytime I see a cool scene, I have to stop to get some pictures. Right now, we're kind of just in transit to St. George, Utah to meet up with uh, one of our buddies, Jason Zendroski. He's an off-road photographer. But I just kind of wanted to get some shots of this nice scene. It's so pretty here. so hot right now the dash says it's 118 degrees it feels that way took my camera out and I can barely hold it because it's so hot the strap is like burning my neck right now but I'm gonna try to get this shot that I really like pretty empty here on this off ramp so we're gonna try to get a shot um, utilizing these lines here says 117 and it actually went up to 120 if you can believe it or not wait 
Yeah, while I was driving. Are we in Havasu right now? What's, what's going on? Yeah, I think, well, I mean, we are in Arizona, so. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, the camera legit was so hot. I wish I knew how hot it actually got. But as soon as I touched it, I couldn't hold on to it. So I was kind of like half gripping it. And the straps were seriously on fire. Um, but the scene over here is beautiful. If you, if you, seriously, if you guys have a chance to go on a road trip across the US, it, there's just nothing like it. There's so many cool scenes. And as a photographer, you know, even if you're not really a shooter, just use your cell phone. It's so worth it to get all of these photos just for yourself, you know, for, for nothing else, just for social media or just, I don't know, just for fun. Because taking pictures, seeing the country, that's kind of what it's all about. It's too much fun. We, we normally don't eat this good, right? Well, I do. <laughs> Um, so there's Lewis, he's praying, he's very religious, actually he's just on his phone, Instagram. Uh, we are in Utah after all, you know, there's a lot of, uh, very religious people here. Not me. Not you. So Jason, we haven't seen you for a while since you used your butt cream up on Pikes Peak. <laughs> yeah. He has this interesting product. <laughs> he has a secret. This is how he hikes so fast. He actually uses butt cream, so uh, it reduces the chafing. What? Why don't you just call it Operation Ass Cream, you ass? We need to oil up, we need to lube up our cars. Here we go. This is we need to lube up our butt. We missed you. I've basically been doing nothing and getting a dad bod. Just like, just like the rest of us? Yeah, putting on COVID-15, maybe yeah. 20. Um, so Lewis is getting a dad body. He's not even a dad. Yeah, at least I have an excuse. That's true. Yeah, it's I don't. I, I just stopped. I don't have an excuse. Well, it's good to see you. Can't wait to see what other photos you're going to take this year. If Hopefully you, lots. If you're allowed to take photos. Yeah. At all. Hopefully lots. Alright. Good to see you. you. As always. Maybe we'll um, get to see more of your butt cream on bikes this year. I'd like that. Shake on it now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Bye. Bye. Mr. Cheezus, we literally just had dinner and you're eating Cheezus again. All desserts. Uh, All right. So Jason kind of gave us some insight on a really sick spot to shoot at. So we're gonna head there right now and we're gonna see if we can steal kind of a quick sunset shoot before we head up to uh, where are we going? Richmond? Rich Richfield? Richfield, Richfield. R Richmond, Virginia, yes. Yes, all right. So Jason told us about a spot uh, near town. Uh, we're about 10 minutes outside of the town and we're in this kind of like a canyon sort of area. I just but, can't believe people live right here. This is so crazy. Oh my God. Every one of these spots are absolutely beautiful. This kind of reminds me of the uh, Red Rock Canyon area, oh, oh. just outside of, just outside of Las Vegas, I but just, like way cooler. I just want the, the 35 millimeter right now, just to show my Z. Here, this is this is this is what Larry's looking at right now. Yeah, that's what I see. Look at that. That's a rock. Oh, man. look at the sand dunes here. The what? Oh, there's oh. someone, there's someone uh, having they? a little picnic right there. Are they doing a photo shoot? No, it's called a picnic. They couldn't find Whoa, the bro. They couldn't find the beach, so they're, they're having a picnic out in the middle of the desert. Oh look, they're doing a photo shoot right there. <laughs> oh wow, it's a little wedding shoot. This 
this is this is it right here. Like this is this is what I live for. I, I absolutely love this so much. So we're just kind of picking shots here and there, sun setting. Um, it's kind of amazing over here. So yeah, we're gonna make a right. Is there anything over here? We are losing light kind of quick. I'm trying to get one more rear shot. Oh man, it's so pretty right now. Oh, I see some nice clouds. Face that way, I'm gonna get that rear tail light shot here where the clouds face directly towards the clouds. All right, I'm gonna try this tail light shot, one of my favorite shots. You know when we get respect from Corvette owners. It just so happens to be a Corvette owner with an R11 S though. Yeah, so he's a really cool Corvette owner. I mean, all Corvette owners are cool, but the fact that he also has an I11 in this color too. So he, he stopped us and wanted to kind of, yeah, he wanted to compliment the car. And I told him that his car's a lot faster in a straight line. Day two. Uh, we're still at the hotel. I'm just building my cameras right now So we don't have to do that when we actually find a cool location to shoot I'm just gonna go minimal yesterday. I was shooting three bodies and it was a little too much I'm gonna try to shoot on two bodies today. Uh, I can't promise that that will last for very long nope. Yeah, but well, Let's see. Uh, we're gonna hit the road and then we're gonna try to get some shots Awesome thing is, we're actually going to visit Flying Miata. I've seen so many of their cars, I've seen so many of their builds. I've never actually had a chance to visit them. They're outside of Grand Junction, Colorado. So we're gonna check them out and uh, we'll just go on from there. We absolutely love doing light painting. It's kind of one of the mini tools that we use to tell the story here on Hoonigan Autofocus. Over the years, we've been using all different sorts of lights. Traditionally, we like to use a big light wand or a light stick that costs upwards of $500. GoPro sent us this Zeus Mini that we've actually been using for light painting. It's really small. It's really powerful, as you could see. I keep it in my pocket anytime I need a source of light more than my cell phone. It's really cool. You can put this on any hot shoe or cold shoe and it comes with this adapter so you can actually put any GoPro accessory on it including this tripod mount which we're going to use for some light painting. Today we're going to do a quick demonstration on my Supra here in my shop. To recharge it all you do is flip open this door and plug it into any USB-C charger. Click the link in the description. If you use it for light painting, upload it on Instagram, tag me, and I'll repost your photos. Oh, wow. Utah, you're so pretty. This is amazing. What a nice little outlook over here. <laughs> so we are on our way to Grand Junction right now, and uh, we are at a scenic area kind of like stepping in or I'm sitting in right now to move the car because Larry is uh, shooting right there. You see that? So we just pulled off onto this view area. The spotted wolf view area. 
it's it's so crazy because like there's no reason for this to exist except for to have people view the scenery here yeah it's right there i mean <laughs> that's the crazy thing about the u.s i mean i know this is gonna sound cliche but it's crazy that Like, when would you ever come here? You know, like, get over here. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna shoot some pictures. I'm just trying to get shots on this little ridge here. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of taking a couple of attempts. I'm kind of trying to do some stitches here, but it looks so good right now. I just can't believe how amazing this scene is. Pretty straightforward steering wheel. It doesn't have too many, but it has, it has no buttons at all, so that's really nice. Get these little holes instead. Um, it has pretty much all the amenities. Revs out to I think 8,000 ish. Um, the key goes on the left side as usual for most Porsches. Um, it's a six speed manual. It feels kind of like it feels flimsy at first, and then you start driving it, and it feels kind of like a um, it clicks into each gear really nicely, so it almost feels like, um, kind of like an S2000, if you guys have ever driven one of those. Um, over here, there's like this auto blip thing, kind of similar on like the 370Z or like the new Civic Type R's. Uh, we disabled that because, you know, we don't need that. Um, there's auto off, I, I turn that on so it doesn't automatically go off. Oh crap! There's this uh, binocular looking thing, it's actually the, the exhaust thing, so you can click that and it sounds a little louder oh the car is telling me to take a rest because I've been driving for a long time um, traction off stability off it's pretty cool awesome. okay no he didn't want to come in um, the coolest thing about this car is it's got two cup holders one two which is nice you can, like slide that back in if you wanted to which is really dope and there's a glove box right here too we put a Owner's manual, jump, jump cables, fire extinguisher, really nice. It's actually a pretty practical car. Um, AC goes pretty well, blasted because it's hot. Not too bad. I'm, I'm just like tapped out. Thanks for driving, Lois. Fired. <laughs> I just got fired. We just ended up at this uh, place. It's a racetrack, the Grand Junction Motor Speedway. I think it's like a go kart track, but I can't really tell. It's kind of right there. I don't care what it is. Look at that. Well, look at what. This is insane. Wait, look at what. Oh, it's just the Miata with a huge. What? That is so cool. Look at that. Look at those tires. Ah, oh, it's a little windy. Just hey straight off road tires. Those look like rally here. tires. Look at the sidewall. The this is so crazy. All right, so we're here at uh, Grand Junction Raceway and um, the Flying Miata guys brought out this crazy hill climb Miata. I've never seen anything like this. Just unbelievable with hoosers. Oh, this thing is so cool. All right, we're going to go for a ride in that and uh, we're going to do a full feature on it. All right, Brian. Are you ready for... Uh, to give me a little Hello Kitty ride over here? Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Let's yeah, do it. I'm, I'm good, man. Let's do it. All right, let me I'm in. It. We'll have to warm it up a second. Uh, my arms are fairly not long enough. This is when I say that I don't know anything about this 
car. I just met Brian. <laughs> Hi. I just pulled up and now we're going for a ride in this crazy hill climb monster. I love this. I love my job. First impression, you are a madman. Uh, well, thank you. I, I, I take that as a compliment. I just love, it, it's crazy how fast you're shifting through the gears too. It's like just spinning, spinning, spinning. Yeah. Amazing. That's all it does is kill those tires. So cool. <laughs> What's a road trip story without going on track? It's just a regular drive at that point. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the guys at uh, Grand Junction Motor Speedway w were nice enough to let us stop by, shoot some Miatas, some flying Miatas. We had a ch fly in, fly in Miatas. So we had a chance to drive them on track and we did a full shoot with them. But now I'm gonna take the GT4 on just for a couple of laps, just to kind of break in these Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s, you know, little little sticky, sticky yeah. ickies. The, the brakes were mad at us, it was squeaking because we weren't braking hard enough. Ah. Oh. Okay, all right. So we're going to we're going to see what this thing can do.
did the uh, track drive in the GT4 for the first time. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> hey, remember you when like... I remember when remember when I told you to go fast and then slow so I could do photo and video, and then you were like, "Nah, Lewis sucks. I'm just gonna go fast because screw you." You mean when when you asked me to take it easy and I just did hot well, laps? Okay, I guess I guess all of your content's gonna be totally whack now because I didn't get good photo or video. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Larry. That was all for nothing. I, I was just having too much fun. This, sorry, sorry, Porsche. Larry, Larry was too busy going too fast. This thing is just too much fun to drive. I absolutely love this. It's so easy to drive. I mean, it's just, it's just too good. It's just, ah, oh, it's just a thing. I still got like a ton of photos and video though. You did? I'm, I'm just really good at my job, you know? I know. No big deal, whatever. I know. thing about this car is uh, during these times you know we can't eat inside so this car actually comes with a table yeah it's the perfect height to like eat food <laughs> uh, right now the sun's setting we are I don't know about an hour out of Grand Junction There's and like four hours left on the drive. yeah we four, four hours so many so many hours so um only the classiest food for us uh for the classiest car only the best arby's money can buy with all the sauces <laughs> so classy we're inside a tunnel right now larry so you know what to do i think i know what to do is there gonna be endless nope 